It's a historic moment for India-Greece relations. The Indian Air Force is hosting the Hellenic Air Force as four Greek F-16 fighter jets from the 336 Squadron touched down in India for the very first time ever to participate in the Indian defense exercise Taram Shakti 2024. Greek fighter jets were accompanied by two C-130 transport aircraft carrying technical support staff for the massive aerial exercise in India. IAF's LCA Tejas Mark 1 fighter jets would be out to impress their Greek counterparts as the two forces conduct head-to-head -head dog fights and combined combat operations. The Greek Air Force's arrival in India is significant not only as a sign of growing military-to-military -military ties between the two ancient nations, it also showcases an enhanced strategic partnership which has been given a new boost by Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Mitsotakis as New Delhi and Athens aims to counter the growing access of Turkey, Pakistan and Azerbaijan. Last year, Indian Air Forces Sukhoi 30 NKI fighter jets participated in Ineokos war games in Greece, while the Indian Navy conducted maritime exercises with the Greek Navy near Crete, with surely Erdogan's Turkish Navy keeping a close eye. The Tarang Shakti 2024 war games is the biggest international aerial exercise ever to be hosted by the Indian Air Force and the Indian military. Phase 2 is being held in Jodhpur near India's western border with Pakistan. The US Air Force 2 has arrived in India with their F-15 fighter jets which are vying for the 114 MRFA defence contract but they will first have to contend with the LCA Tejas, the Indian pocket-sized dynamite impressed in Phase 1 of Tarang Shakti, going head-to-head -head with the European Eurofighter and the French Rafale and coming out standing. The French and German air chiefs then even took sorties in the Indian Tejas after the fighter jet's impressive performance in simulated combat drills. According to reports, US is seeking to enhance military alliance with India and is now seeking to partner in the FRCV or Future Ready Combat Vehicle. The 57,000 crore rupee project aims to replace and phase out the Russian origin T-72 tank fleet. However, with delays in delivery of the F-404 engines for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, New Delhi would be apprehensive in entering another key defence project with the United States even as Stryker Combat Vehicle co-development is progressing while it remains to be seen when the GE-414 engine facility will be set up in India for the Tejas Mark II fighter jets. Two Japanese Mitsubishi F-2 fighter jets have also arrived to participate after making a stopover in Singapore, with the Singapore Air Force also sending its own fighter jets to India to participate in Tarang Shakti 2024. India and Japan are boosting their military alliance as the two quad allies face the common threat of Chinese expansionist ambitions. Recently, Indian Navy signaled at a deal to procure Japanese Unicorn antenna for its stealth warships to make them more effective in confronting the Chinese threat, not only in the Indian Ocean region but also in the South China Sea, which is probably the theatre of the next global conflict. While China is threatening to salami slice along the LSE india china border in Ladakh, the Chinese PLA is also claiming Japanese Senkaku Islands near Taiwan. Recently, a Chinese military aircraft even violated Japanese airspace for the very first time, raising alarms in Tokyo and its Western allies. The Japanese military is now seeking a record budget hike in the face of any Chinese military misadventure and what seems an inevitable conflict in the South China Sea region. The Australian Air Force will have a key role to play in such a scenario and in order to boost strategic alliances, Australian Air Force 2 has arrived in India to boost interoperability with the Indian Air Force. With air forces from India, Australia, Japan and the USA, Tarang Shakti 2024 will see all four quad nations participate along with their allies in these war games. Also joining these military exercises are fighter jets from the United Arab Emirates. UAE is among India's strongest allies in the Arab world. However, off late, China has been attempting to lure the UAE with joint war games and possibly a deal for the J-20 stealth fighter jets after the United States refused to sell their F-35 fifth-generation stealth fighters to the UAE. However, India-UAE ties remain strong and Tarang Shakti 2024 is an opportunity for India to showcase its own defence manufacturing capabilities to allies with not just the Tejas in action but also the LCH Prachand helicopters along with additional equipment including indigenous missiles, air defence systems and tech. Bangladesh has pulled out of the Indian military exercises due to possible political unrest back home. However, India roped in Sri Lankan Air Force at the last minute 
to complete the roster. This also gives India a chance to foster stronger military ties with Sri Lanka amidst Chinese naval stopovers and economic influence in the island nation. What do you believe? Should India host more large-scale military exercises to reflect its status as a 21st century superpower? Leave a comment with your opinion and remember to like and subscribe to InConnect News.